Bills coming off tremendous campaigns as well. Play action for Lance. Surveys and fires back the far side of the field and incomplete looking for Christian Watson. Good coverage that time by Robert Rochelle. Well, his first football. Back to the eye formation here on second and 10. Stretch play to the outside, and Cofield looking for room to run, tries to get around the edge, but unable to do so. J.W. Jones, good pursuit, will take him down for no game. Take a look at that Central Arkansas defense. Nathan Brown, head coach, really likes his guys up front. Javius Brown, 37th career game. J.W. Jones, Nathan Grant, Austin Norris, very good up front. Robert Rochelle being looked at by the NFL scouts that are here, and along, rather, of the NFL. As we'll spread it out here with four wide, and Central Arkansas showing some pressure, and the Bears will bring pressure. That's when they try to make things happen. Here they come. Lance hangs in there, fire. Derek Tuska. Give to Christian Watson on the fly, sweeping room to run. Watson. Lowering the shoulder and getting across the 20 down to the 24-yard line, picking up a first down. Let's go to Ryan Gellner on the sidelines. Hey, guys, it's a First International Bank and Trust sideline report. Trey Lance ran this, get this, 41 times. Tyler Roll mentioned to us this week. Lance hanging in there, and now he lost the football. It's still loose, and Central Arkansas has it at the 14-yard line. I think it was Darren Davenport on a blitz from the linebacker. Check and see on the Nodak Insurance Company replay from your right. You're going to see number 24 kind of make a linebacker stunt, get his hand on the ball, and it comes out. So it was Davenport that caused the turnover. This will be a real good look at how he reaches out with that left hand and gets it away from Lance. A Javius Brown, the all-Southland second-teamer from a year ago. Oh, Central Arkansas ready for that one. All sorts of bodies flying in there, and that is the big play linebacker, Dre Matthews, coming in for the tackle for loss. Lance dropping back and fires. Braylon Henderson, did he get a foot down? The officials confer. And they say, yes, it is a catch for a first down across the 45-yard line. So the Bison pick up a first down up to the 46-yard line. Here's a gap power. Kobe Johnson taken down immediately. Cameron Godfrey crashing down from his safety position. Uh, he's already starting pretty close to the line. But, yeah, Godfrey's listed as the free safety. But if you don't think you can physically handle a gap power. Lance looking, trying to set up a screen. Flag comes in behind his intended target. There's a hold. Looking for Adam Cofield. Uh, if you want me to guess, I'll guess Nash Jensen. This would back up the Bison if Nathan Brown decided to accept the penalty. The way back. Holding, 36. offense, number 67. Penalty has been declined, brings up third down. Brown decides to decline the penalty instead. Nodak Insurance Company replay. Check the bottom of your screen, but the guy they're talking about is on the top of the screen. That's where the hold comes from. You just saw him kind of reach across, maybe grab under the top. We have a good game plan, and our guys will be up for the challenge. So far, the Bears have been. On big plays, this year, look for the pressure. Nope, no pressure coming. It's max coverage. Lance fires, looking for Christian Watson, who went up high. It was a little bit out of his reach. And incomplete, Malik Wilson coming back to make a play on the football. The Bison will have to punt it away. First quarter. Kobe Johnson in that tailback. Johnson putting his head down and falling ahead to the five-yard line. Nick Nakwasa coming in to make that stop. Safety for Central Arkansas. Seven tackles and a forced fumble against Missouri State last week. Uh, 
But you talk about position groups that have a lot of good talent. Get down run for North Dakota State. And Kobe Johnson got nothing. Central Arkansas's Nathan Grant got in there to make that stop. Third and six here for the Bison. Three receivers in the formation. Pressure coming on Lance. He hangs in there and looking for Zach Matheson. Overthrows the tall receiver out of Tampa. And Lance again now just one of seven so far to start this game. And when you're in territory, that's how the Bears were able to get the first points. Quick throw out to Watson. Had a couple of blocks on the edge, and Watson pushed out of bounds by a trio of Bears after a gain of five. Bison thought some high formation here on second five. A play action for Lance, throwing on the run and making the sliding reception is Hunter Lukey. Has enough for a first down to the 36, Lukey. And a nice freshman season, 11 receptions for 196 yards in the national semifinals against Sam Houston State. Delayed handoff, goes to Wilson again. Good feet, Caden Brown gives him a bear hug and drags him down at midfield, but that'll be enough for another Bison first down. Just kind of a feel run because Babbage was almost like a pulling guard to the interior, the tight end. Yeah, his injury happened in fall camp, if I remember right. Jet sweep goes out to Watson. See the speed of this wide receiver out of Tampa. Bumped out of bounds on the play by DeAndre Lamont. There is a bear getting, well, I was going to say getting up very slow. But Join other Gate City Bank homeowners who have saved over $20 million in student home loan interest. Lukey puts the shoulder down and gave Cameron Godfrey some punishment as he motors down to the 27. Wrong with 94. Play action for Lance. Babbage wide open in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, Bison tight ends have certainly been on the receiving end of a lot of touchdowns the last few years. And here's another one here from Josh Babich. Had five touchdowns last year. This is his 31st game for the Bison. As NDSU ties it up. And that was a really nice, good-looking, quick snap throw from Trey Lance on that particular play. Babich a big target. 6'6", 254. Extra point is booted up and through by Reynolds, and North Dakota State has its first lead of the afternoon with exactly nine minutes to go in the second quarter. Trey Lance connecting with Josh Babbitt's 13 yards on the touchdown. We're back to the Fargo Dome. After this, has a pretty good field position this time, starting from the 41. Delayed handoff. And the read option will go to Cofield. No room up the middle. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Field. So many. Number one, South Dakota State number three. That'll be one of the Bison classics we'll show you later this month. Lance. And with three in the backfield with Lance in the shotgun. And Lance, his first design run up the middle. Lance showing off the wheels to the 30 and finally taken down from behind at the 27 yard line by Cameron Quivis. First design quarterback run of the day. There's that strength. He breaks through the line and then is just able to, he's working his way back to where his couple of blocks where you see Sproles and Watson trying to line up on the outside. Lance is trying to get there. He's a little bit tripped. One of our major goals for our guys is to try to get the first interception on this kid. Another design run for Lance. Working off some blocks. Another strong run. Gains a first down, down to the 16-yard line. So Marion Wilson coming in, and he's on the field for the ejected Cameron Godfrey. I know Ryan talked about, you know, the 41. And the line saying, okie okie. Cody Johnson. 
sneaking through a crease and picking up four inside the 15 down to the 12. Oki's no big. In four minutes to go until halftime. Back in Delta. Inside give again. 67% last year. Lance, time in the pocket. Across the middle. Reception is made by Watson, but he is short of the first down at the 10. Little crossing pattern between the guy who caught it and also Babbage. Once they both. It's in the gun. Robert Rochelle back into the game for Central Arkansas. So certainly good news for the Bears. Lance waiting. Now he's going to bomb it deep. Sproles could not haul it in as the ball hung up just a little bit. And Rochelle able to make a play on the football and break it up. Nice to see Rochelle. Lance trying to set up a screen, but Central Arkansas had that thing read all the way. Caden Brown was all over Cofield. Three down lineman. Jeremiah Gray standing up on the end. Lance, plenty of time behind his intended target. A little bit. Malik Wilson comes running on late. A play action for Lance. Dumping it off in the flat. As Babich puts the shoulder down and a big pickup. Of Lance designed run. Sneaking through a hole. Look at the strength of Lance. And now the speed down the sideline. Stips arms a man at the 20. 55 yards, touchdown. Boy, we saw this a ton last year. Trey Lance. You can see how much bigger, stronger he is. He uses the strength here. He busts, look at that, through those two arm tackles, and now the speed. All right, let's use the strength one more time with that left hand, getting that out there, keep the defender away from his legs, and he takes it in. And a two-point conversion is that they've come from behind to win eight of the last 16 games. Run up the middle. There's just not been a lot of room for Adam Cofield to operate in between the tackles today. Big Ajabius Brown plugging things up in the middle. Lance rolling away from pressure, firing high for Noah Gindorf and incomplete. And that'll bring up third and nine. All right, thanks, Ryan. Four receivers in the formation here on third and long. Here comes some pressure. Lance stepping away, and he's got some room to run. Good blocking downfield and Lance some sweet feet. And finally taken down by Nakwasa at the 39 yard line. Pick up of close to 35 as there is a bear down. And I believe Jeremiah that is Jeremiah Gray. Gray, yes. Down at about the 31 yard line. There was the one guy that they had to block. And I mean, Gray was coming from behind. Let's we'll see if we can check it on the Nodak Insurance Company replay. And is it Volson that gets on him? Nope, it was a hit from uh, from the backside, I think. Boy, the Bison needed a big play on third down deep in your own territory, and Trey Lance's feet provided it. Matthews on a nice blitz, picked up by Cofield. Big number 67. Sprint to hit. That's one of the sayings, if you will, of A.J. Blasek in that offensive line, as you see those big guys. In that tailback. Lance will dump it off. A couple of bears there. Close quickly and make the tackle. Short gain for Babbage to the 40s. Ray Matthews out there along with. Lance again down the seam and it's intercepted. Nakwasa is has the first pick from Trey Lance in his career. Look at the sideline. That's a happy bunch because of just what Brian talked about. That was a stated goal for this team this week. Get pick number one against Trey Lance. He throws it on a line. Nakwasa is able to jump the route. If Trey goes up and over, maybe it's a deeper potentially touchdown. Chris, 
Inside give. As Cofield is able to get it ahead for a few yards. Austin Norris there to turn him back. Lance fires to Sproles and more good coverage as Malik Wilson, excuse me, TJ Campbell. Oh no, Davis Harrison. I'll get it right in the third try. Was out there to defend that pass. Harrison, the senior. You get right in the face. He really made a good break. His initial read was correct. You get the hips dropped, get out to the flat, make a break on the ball. Backup linebacker, a senior. Jones County Community College. Last time it was third and long. Lance needed to run to get the Bison up the midfield right before the pick. Extra pressure coming on Lance, and he's swallowed up back at the 12-yard line and goes down. T.J. Campbell came on the blitz. Jalen Bedell came in there as well, among others. Second uh, sack for T.J. Campbell. He's third on the team in tackles. They're bringing him. And there was, he was able to run through. Now, Wilson's blocked. Seth Wilson's pretty good blocker, so he's really pretty good at pass pro sense. Brian, you could kind of sense the sense of urgency to get off the field in a three and out. Boy, not much room again in the running game. Davis Harrison coming off the edge from his linebacker spot to make the tackle. He's been very active here the last couple series. Just seven. It's a head shaker. Give to Kobe Johnson on the edge this time. Had a great freshman season. And he picks up a first down across the 30 to the 31-yard line out of Lawrenceville, Georgia. Played a lot of meaningful reps as a true freshman. He did. He was the fourth leading rusher on this team last year. It's Play action for Lance. Rolling and on the run looking for Phoenix Sproles and well out of his reach out of bounds. Lance now just eight of 23 passing sidelines right now. For good reason. Delayed handoff. It's Cofield is met by J.W. Jones and taken down after a pickup of two. Boy, Jones has been all over the place today. On one. Third and eight here for North Dakota State. Lance trying to set up a little bit of a screen to Cofield, but the Bears again do a nice job stringing things out. And J.W. Jones in on another tackle with Dre Matthews, and that'll bring up a punting situation. Talk about Jones. Really good football family. His brother Sam played at Southeast Missouri, or excuse me, brother Edgar played at Southeast Missouri State. Lance gonna run some good blocking in front, and Lance lowers the shoulder and is close to a first down in Central Arkansas territory at the 46. Well, Carson Schooning just did something on that play that Tanner Bolson was so good at. That's the center, number 59. Snap and then pull to get out in front, provide the one block that Lance needs to put his shoulder down and pick. Advantage motion of the high side of the screen here on first down. Lance, good pocket this time. Across the middle, open man at the 30, and the reception is made by Zach Mathis. Five receptions last year for the 6'6 sophomore out of Tampa. Well, what you don't see is Christian Watson on the right side running a deep play. There's the little square in. The safety has to honor Watson on the deep, so you have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity there with Lamont, your corner, to let that develop. Lance will give it to Kobe Johnson this time, but again, the Bears have done a really good job in their lateral pursuits. Davis Harrison in on another tackle, along with Malik Wilson. Now, see Cody Malk in there wearing number 88. He is a tight end slash offensive lineman. Lance fires out in the flat to Braylon Henderson. And the redshirt freshman able to keep his feet. Pick up a game of about seven yards. 
inside the 25 yard line down to the 23. Collection in store and online at shields.com. Third down for the Bison. Johnson needed to get to the 20, and I think he came up a yard short. Yeah, hey, more than or less than a yard, about the length of a football short. Here comes Cody Mauk. Hunter Luke is Luke checking in. going back out there, so the Bison getting that big lineup out there to go for it on fourth down. Half yard here for North Dakota State. Lance in the shotgun and a designed run, and he gets across the 20 and picks up the first down. Dream Matthews in on the tackle for UCA. Using the tight ends as the lead blockers. Babich was the one first through the hole that. Hey, Christian Watson has had a lot of one on ones today. Here he goes in motion. Lance is going to keep it. Puts his juke on a man and then taken down at about the 14 yard line. DeAndre Lamont, Dre Matthews team up for the stop. Lance under pressure, stepping away. Middle of the field opens up. Lance into the end zone. Touchdown. I think it was DeAndre Lamont that had the chance. He came on a little bit of a corner blitz, did not make the initial tackle, and Lance is able to get it in. Lamont's number 33. You see him streak in, but he misses, has his hands behind on. So Campbell and Harrison now in the game at linebacker with Dre Matthews. Lance quickly out the flat to Wilson. Boy, nice spin move in the open field to avoid a man. And gets the first down to the 40 yard line. TJ King. Give it to Wilson here on first down. And Wilson getting around the edge, finding a crease. He's fired up inside UCA territory to the 45 yard line. 15 yard pickup on that run. Looked like some zone blocking. Nodak Insurance Company replay. Just man on man, keep pushing, keep pushing until the running back finds a seam that he loves to get the plays in. Reaction this time for Lance. He's going to take a shot deep for Watson. He could not hang on to it at the goal line. The 1% last year on this down. Lance trying to look for some room to run. Follows some blockers and gets ahead to the 39, and that'll bring up fourth and two. And then a flag came in. Looked like a Lance keeps. Backside, wide open, Hunter Luke touchdown. Today. Lance is going to run again. Not as much room this time. Mass Jensen trying to set the edge. But again, it's Dre Matthews coming in to make the tackle. Solo stops today for the Bears. Lance to Gindorf in the flat. Steps around one man, and Gindorf is across the 45 yard line and has a first down. And there's another Bear down. That's Rochelle. He's getting up, but just slowly. Week two for the Jags. All room to run to the outside. Wilson trying to sneak away with a little bit of a stiff arm. But instead, it's TJ Campbell making the tackle after a pickup of eight. Tell it was eight yards later. Tell it's a formation. Lance going to keep it. Oof. Nothing there. Plugged up in the middle. That was the big man, Austin Norris, the 6'5 senior out of Conway, coming up to turn him back. So now third and about four coming up from the 49th today. Lance time, and it is caught by Breland Henderson at the 34-yard line and a big third down pickup. Tiptoeing up to the line of scrimmage, looking for a hole, not finding much. 
as Adam Cofield, as Nathan Brown will call his first timeout. And off to the outside, room to run for Kobe Johnson. And he is out of bounds at the 23 yard line, but that'll be enough for a first down. I think you're right, though, Brian, about the defensive line or the D2 championships, the ones in the bottom are the FCS championships. Wilson bouncing off a tackler. Wilson showing a nice burst through the line, and he's going to be close to another first down at the 13. Caden Brown was thinking there for a minute, hey, I'm going to make a play in the backfield here, but boy, I tell you, Seth Wilson bounced right off of him and helped force Central Arkansas into a second timeout. Nodak Insurance Company replay. Well, we said it in the first half when he had a couple of carries. And the give will go to Lupke. Great blocking, he's got a touchdown on the ground. And that should put it away here at Fargo. Well, it took a while, but this was the type of offensive line play I thought we were going to see all day, but the Bison, oh, just a fine job. Lupke used to being the lead blocker. This time he gets the touchdown. Next point added by Reynolds. A Lupke guy that's used to carrying the football. 3,000 all-purpose yards in high school. Was a two-time state wrestling champion, three-time all-conference in baseball. How about Wilson with the block? Yep, Wilson was the, the lead blocker on that particular case, so they the case, so they switch roles. Yeah. Radens with a nice block, a downfield there uh, block. You're going to get from Cole Jacob. Here's a good look from the end zone. Nash Jensen at the point of attack. A little bit of a kick out there from uh, Cordell Bolson. 